Pamela Henry here, owner of the Success Choice and creator of the Success Choice Planner. Welcome to this month's focus training, Be Loving. You're welcome to turn to it in this month's Success Choice Planner. So being loving is so important in improving your own life and the lives of others. I really like this quote in the planner by the Greek writer Sophocles. It says, one word frees us from all the weight and pain of life. That word is love. Help improve the lives of others by being loving. You're more attractive, influential, and have better relationships when you are loving. Here are a few examples to help you to be more loving. When greeting others, show you are happy to see them. This is especially true with your own children. Nothing makes a child feel more loved than to see your face light up when you see them. But this doesn't just apply to children. Everyone feels more loved and accepted when they're greeted warmly. Genuinely notice and express something positive about them. Often people are dealing with something heavy in their lives, a challenge, a doubt, a struggle of some sort. When you notice something positive and point it out, you can make their day and maybe even lift that burden for a while. Show sincere interest. Ask them questions about themselves. So show interest in something that they are interested in. For, for example, we have a son who used to be very into this multiplayer video game. So one night we decided as a whole family we were going to play this game. So we each got on our laptops and various computers and for hours we played this game and the son explained the whole thing to us. He was so excited to be able to share this game with us and to have us enjoy it with him. So this reminds me of another quote in the planner that I really love by Maya Angelou. It says, people will forget what you did but people will never forget how you made them feel. Let go of your personal agendas and judgments. So even if you don't agree with someone, at least try to understand their perspective and try to at least see it from their point of view. Recall and point out the good they have done and currently do. It's kind of a natural tendency to notice the wrong things people do, the mistakes that they make, but instead try to cultivate the habit of noticing the good things that they do and pointing those out instead. Look to their potential and help them be the best they can be. I believe we are all capable of more than we are demonstrating. You may offer just the encouragement someone needs to push to that next level. To love others, you must also love yourself. You've probably heard the analogy of the flight attendant going through the safety procedures on an airplane. If the cabin pressure drops and the oxygen masks come down, that you should secure it over your own face before attempting to help those around you. While this is a frequently used analogy, it is a great analogy to show that when we are depleted, we are less able to serve other people. So it's important to take care of yourself and this enables you to better serve others. Here are a few ideas to help you to love yourself more. Listen to others, but don't take on yourself their responsibilities. Recently, an acquaintance of mine from high school wrote an article entitled, Making Success Out of Your Messes. And in this article, he told a story of when he was a teenager many years ago, and he had just gotten his driver's license, he was 16, and he wanted to take the family boat out on the lake. His dad agreed, and so he drove several miles to the boat storage facility. And the workers there loaded up the boat, they hooked up the trailer to his vehicle, and he started for home. And as he was driving home, he went across some railroad tracks and he heard this click clink as he went across the tracks. He didn't think anything of it until he got into the left-hand lane to make a turn and his boat passed him on the right, heading straight for oncoming traffic. He of course was terrified that this was gonna cause an accident, go into traffic, but luckily the boat veered off and instead plowed over several parked cars. This friend was of course, terrified and worried and but this was before cell phones were common and so he went into a local business and sheepishly called his dad. He said he never forgot his dad's response. When he called his dad, his dad simply said, Brett, call me back when you've got this all taken care of. So the dad didn't yell at his son, he didn't berate him, and he also didn't rush over there and solve it all for him. Instead, he empowered his son to handle the situation. So he did, he called the police to come take care of the, the cars and he called the 
boat storage facility to come take care of the boat and he was empowered to handle the situation. I think this is a great example of not taking on someone else's responsibility and instead empowering others to handle their own problems. Don't accept disrespect and don't accept abuse of any kind. Know when to be quiet, when to walk away, and when to not add fuel to a fire. Spend time on your goals and interests. Sometimes we can get busy with work and family and not spend time on our goals and interests. There is nothing selfish about taking care of yourself. Don't neglect your responsibilities, but it's important to spend some time pursuing your own goals and interests. I had a neighbor who she and her husband had three small children and they were starting to feel overwhelmed and they felt like they needed some renewal. They got together and as a couple, they worked out a plan where she was home all day with the kids. She really wanted to get out of the house and she wanted to develop a new skill. So she decided to sign up for a martial arts class and once or twice a week, her husband stayed home with the kids while she went and attended this martial arts class. He, on the other hand, felt like he was learning a lot at work and that wasn't his need, but what he felt like he needed was to reconnect with some friends and to unwind. So one or two nights a week, he went gaming with some friends. And by their being able to both pursue their interests, they received that renewal that they were looking for. Give yourself time to be alone. We don't get our best results when we are moving at full speed all of the time. Perpetual motion is exhausting. Take time to be alone, to plan, to ponder, to evaluate, and to replenish. This month, I challenge you to be more loving. Show more love by strengthening relationships with others and with yourself. Express happiness and interest in others and in their activities. And don't forget to schedule in your planner quality time with others, as well as time for yourself to plan, to ponder, to evaluate, and to work on your goals and interests. Again, this is Pamela Henry, owner of the Success Choice and creator of the Success Choice Planner, reminding you to live your life on purpose, with purpose, choosing joy in your journey today. Have a wonderful day.